Good morning. I'm Crystal with Whole New Perspective. Welcome to my channel. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Now it is June 1st already. For those of you that have been with me for the beginning of the year, you know that in January, I had a challenge, a jar it up challenge and it's hashtag jar it up 2023. And we discussed it and said that we would come back and jar things up throughout the year. Now is the time for many of us to get our produce and start jarring up again. But one of the things I wanna make sure that you do, and I discussed this in my live stream this week, I want to make sure that you have a canning plan. Yes, have a canning plan. It's very important. So one of the first things to do is to know what you want to can. <laughs> then you need to know how you plan to preserve it. Know what you want to preserve and know how you want to preserve it. Now, one of the things, or one of my favorite books you all know is this book. This is where I get most of my recipes uh, for canning is the ball book. There are numerous other books out there and I have several, but this just happens to be my go-to book. So listen, once you know what you want to can, you start to make your plan. You wanna make sure you know if you need your pressure canner. I have several pressure canners, a couple Prestos and an All-American. And guys, make sure that your canners are in good working condition, especially if you haven't been using them throughout the year, make sure that they're in good working condition. If you have a canner that needs ceiling rings and an overpressure gauge, make sure that you have that. Always have extra on hand. And that's the one thing that I discuss in my live stream again, because I also, when using my uh, presto I noticed this was some time ago that it wasn't getting up to pressure now I have had my presto and I've used mainly my presto for I guess it's going on 15 years now but after a after a while they do need a new ceiling ring they need a new ceiling ring and an overpressure gauge so make sure you have that in in I almost said in stock, but <laughs> make sure you have that at home as part of your plan, okay? Make sure once you know what recipe you're gonna use, know if you're going to use, if you have jelly or jam, if you're using pectin, uh, that type, or if you're using a liquid pectin, make sure that you have those things in your house. Make sure that you have all of the jars that you need, all of the lids and rings that you may use make sure that you have that just stock up on everything that you're going to need throughout this canning season and you'll know that if you sit down and make your plan so are you pressure canning water bath canning are you dehydrating fermenting are you freezing so even if you're freezing you need to make sure that you understand if you'll need to blanch whatever you're freezing and make sure that you have those freezer bags as well. So I have my plan put together and I'll say this, if I find other deals throughout the year, my plan changes. And so I always have extra jars and lids on hand for that purpose. So you may wanna think about that as well. So make sure that you are prepared if you have a garden, if you're harvesting, so that when you get those items in your home, that you are ready to can and you do not lose that, that produce. Right now is a good time to secure food for your family because it is out at the farmer's market. The farmers have them. So if you go to the farmer's market, get to know some of your farmers there Go to the same ones over and over and over. Ask questions, find your favorite one, and then they'll get to know you as well. And you can get your deals and you may be able to get better deals like that, okay? Now, if you have a stove like I do, I have a glass top, a smooth top, uh, and I do not pressure cam on my glass top. 
Now, some manufacturers will tell you whether or not your stovetop allows you to pressure can, if it will hold the pressure. Uh, mine does not tell me, it does tell me about water bath canning. So I'm not taking any chances. Just so those of you that have been with me, you know that I do can on this CADCO. So if this is something that you're interested in, you need to make sure that you have this CADCO as well. And most everything that I have, I'll link it down below so that you can see it. Now I do use this CADCO for my pressure canning. I purchased another one, I think it was last year or the year before, so that I made sure I had a backup. But this one I've used for, uh, I guess roughly 15 years, and I haven't had any problems with it. And so I, the one that I purchased for a backup, actually I started running two canners at the same time. And so that was helpful for me. Again, make sure that you are prepared uh, for this canning season. If you have your garden, make sure that when you get those items out that you know what you're going to do with it, okay? And if you have any questions or if you need any help with your canning, just leave those questions down below or leave those comments below. Now we're getting ready to jump right into this canning and I want you to start using the hashtag JarredUp2023 again so that we can all see what we are jarring up and see what we are canning. If you would do that, that would be great. And also go ahead and uh, just tag me on that so I know that you have participated. And really, again, this is just a challenge uh, for us to challenge ourselves to can and get food prepared and put away for our family because we don't know what is to come, but that's really just a natural way to have food and a natural part of preparedness. My mom did that you know, when I grew up and that's what we ate throughout the winter. Mm -hmm. I don't intend to put a video out every day like I did back in January because this is a busy season as well. I do have a container garden. I have some videos of that. I just haven't updated those. So I will be mixing some of those videos in and out along with other ways of preparedness. We do need to make sure that we are stocking up. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, get prepared. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below for me. I appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And please give this video the thumbs up or like this video. So thank you guys once again. I appreciate you. I'll see you, on, I'll see you soon.